African Americans have five times the incarceration rate of white Americans, three times the poverty rate of white Americans. For every hundred dollars of wealth white Americans have, African Americans only have five dollars. Now, all too many white people, whether they say it out loud or not, believe that these horrific statistics are due to some immutable deficiency among African Americans. Well, first of all, I say that those white people need to spend a whole lot more time with a whole lot more black people. But also, they're obviously glossing over the reality that black people are not just the descendants of another American immigrant group. Now, to be sure, few immigrants to this country had it easy, and throughout our history, many, many immigrants were horribly mistreated. But only African Americans were subjected to 250 years of slavery, slavery in the country that extolled itself as the exemplar of freedom, democracy, and decency. Think about that. It's crazy. And then when the 13th Amendment was finally ratified, releasing African Americans from the bondage of slavery for the next century, African Americans endured heinous oppression, wanton terrorism, incessant humiliation, unceasing marginalization. Had any other subset of the American population been a product of that sordid racial history? If any other group was still mired in the vestiges of that oppressive system. No rational person would ascribe its relatively disadvantaged status to a lack of ability or will. What if we took some of those babies born in Winnetka, Illinois, or the Upper East Side of New York, or Highland Park, Texas, and had them raised in these cauldrons of privation and dysfunction that are America's inner cities. Let's see how well they turn out in that environment.